Hey guys, this is Max from Pure Power Solar, and today I'll be giving an overview of the new Goal Zero Yeti 500X. Also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll also be giving away a little bonus at the end for you guys, so stay tuned. Back to the review. Goal Zero recently introduced the Yeti 500X on its YouTube channel and website for the first time. What exactly is the Goal Zero Yeti 500X? It's a medium-sized solar power generator that uses solar power to charge its battery to power devices, appliances, tools, and other electronics off of the grid. It has a 505 watt hour battery pack, 300 watt pure sine wave AC inverter, and is only 12.9 pounds. This new solar generator comes with an MPPT charge controller, where their previous models only had a PWM charge controller. These included the Yeti 1000 lithium, 1400 lithium, and 3000 lithium to name a few. So what exactly does an MPPT controller mean for a solar generator? It means faster charging times with solar panels due to efficiency improvements compared to a PWM charge controller. So the 500X is priced at just under $700 on Goal Zero's website. It's a significant amount of money, but with the power to weight ratio, it's well worth the investment. This is an impressive improvement from their previous model solar generators, considering the Yeti 400 lithium weighs over 16 pounds and the previous model, the Yeti 400, weighs 29 pounds. Improvements in its weight come from the lithium-ion NMC battery. Their lithium batteries are significantly better than their older lead-acid batteries because they are much lighter, they can be charged faster, and offer a higher discharge rate than their lead-acid counterpart. Due to these improvements, naturally, lead-acid batteries are much cheaper than lithium-ion. The Yeti 500X has a 300-watt AC inverter with pure sine wave technology, giving your fans light and other appliances smooth effective power. Pure sine wave it's much better than modified sine wave because it allows the efficiency or power of your equipment to be used to their full power capabilities. Here we have some statistics and product information and you could see here on the left a chart and Everything in this chart comes from Goal Zero's website. We could see first off, we have the three different types of USB ports. There's there's four USB ports total. On the left here, we have the USB-C power delivery, five to 20 volts up to three amps at 60 watts. So this is an input and an output. The two middle ones are standard USB five volts up to 2.4 amps, 12 watts. And the one on the right is the USB-C three amp, 18 watt outlet. Next here we have the 12 volt outputs, which you could see on the upper left of this diagram. After that, we have the AC inverter, which has 300 watts of continuous power and 1200 watts of surge power. Lastly, we have the charging ports, which are actually on the front and the back of the generator, as you could see with these little diagrams here. So what comes inside the box is just the generator as well as a wall charger. The solar panels are sold separately, if you didn't already know. Exactly what can you power with the Yeti solar generator? You could charge cameras or camera batteries, 70 recharges, mobile phones, 40 recharges on your typical smartphone, tablets, 10 recharges, laptops, eight recharges, medical devices such as a CPAP machine, 10 hours of use. We have pellet grills at around nine hours and then TVs you could have running for three hours with this machine. So here we have the Yeti 500X and I compared it with a Jackery Explorer 500. They're very similar in their capacity at just around 500 watt hours and both the Explorer and the 500X they have a compact frame a carrying handle and they're both very lightweight. The Yeti 500X has more output ports than the Jackery does. The 500 X has four USB ports and that beats the Jackery's three vertical USB ports. The Yeti also has two AC outlets when the Jackery only has one. Now this may not be a big deal overall, but when you need to charge up multiple batteries or devices at one time, the Yeti should be your first pick. When it comes to power output via the AC outlet, the Jackery Explorer can put out a whopping 500 watts of continuous power, whereas the 500X can only do 300 watts of continuous power. However, Goal Zero states that their 500X can do 1200 watts of surge power when the Jackery 500 does 1000 watts. This is important for anyone considering using these generators with power tools and appliances like blenders or heaters, portable AC units, and other items like that that require short term and high power. Overall, I would take the 
Yeti 500X over the Jackery due to more ports because I don't see myself using this type of solar generator for much more than charging batteries and small appliances like fans. But what would you prefer to have? Let me know in the comments below if you have either of these generators or you're looking to get them. Let me know. Let me know your experiences. I'd like to learn from you guys and see what you guys have in mind. What solar panels go well with the Yeti 500X? Go Zero has its own lineup of solar panels, both mountable and portable. The mountable ones are the boulder line and the nomad solar panels are the portable ones which fold up. So depending on what you prefer, both options offer very similar wattage ranges. The company just released its new line of nomad solar panels. Uh, right now it's early April 2020, so that might change when you see this video, but a good nomad panel for this type of generator would be the nomad 50 because you can reach charge your 500x in a single day or less with uh, one of those and plus it's obviously as mentioned earlier portable but if you're looking for more power you could check out the nomad 100 boulder 100 or the boulder 200 solar panel options which will give you much faster charging times so i wrote an article touching base on the boulder lineup of solar panels the 50 the 100 and the 200 you can check it out in the description below i'll go ahead and leave a link there as well some charge time examples with the go zero solar panels and the 500x the nomad 20 which is one of the smallest ones that goal zero offers it charges this generator up in uh, around 29 to 58 hours the boulder 50 charges in 12 to 24 hours and the boulder 100 briefcase charges in 6 to 12 hours solar panels in general tend to use about 80 percent of their capacity depending on the panel the charge controller if it's mppt or pwm and the amount of sunlight that is available on any given day i also encourage you to seek other solar panel manufacturers, you can get a great deal on some solar panels with few setbacks, if any. Just make sure that the connections are correct for the Yeti 500X and your solar panel. Solar generator battery longevity. In order to maintain your solar generator for years down the road, you want to follow some basic steps that can help extend the life of your generator. Simple maintenance and understanding of the battery could save you from having to buy a whole new generator too soon. Here are some basic tips for you and your new Yeti 500X solar generator. 1. Avoid deep cycling the battery, which is draining the battery completely before recharging. Lithium ion batteries do not need deep cycling and it actually harms the battery. This strategy was effective for nickel cadmium batteries but not for lithium ion ones. The materials inside these batteries compared to the nickel cadmium ones they're engineered completely differently than the one that the Yeti 500X has. Number two, recharge the battery before storing it away. This is a must because the battery will not function at its best if you leave it on low battery for months months before you start using it. Recharge it and store it away for whatever occasion or whatever use you have it for. Lastly, number three, do not exceed the maximum solar input. The maximum solar input is 180 watts. So don't exceed this or the battery may actually burn out. This is an easy one to screw up if you do not know the wattage of the solar panel you're using. Also, Goal Zero offers an extended warranty with your Yeti power station, which is an additional year of coverage for you. This is included inside the manual and all you need to do is register your generator when you receive it and it's inside that manual. If you want to check out all the details in the manual for the 500X, head to my website which I'll link below. I'll link to this specific Yeti 500X article and at the bottom of that article you'll be able to download the free PDF. I'll also have a link in the description if you want to pick up a 500X for yourself from Goal Zero. Thanks for watching. If you like this video give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think of this generator by commenting below and also subscribe to my channel for more. Last but not least, least your free bonus. I have linked in the description my in-depth solar generator guide telling you everything you need to know to get started with a solar generator. You'll learn the basics as well as some tips and tricks to consider before you may purchase one or build one on your own. If you just want to know more about the solar generator topic, feel free to check it out below. Have a great rest of your day and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.